this is John Bollinger with Premier Guitar. Today we're looking at the brand new Supro Amulet 110-15 water, all tube. I'll tell you all about it after you take a second to subscribe below. Thanks very much. When Supro was revamped, initially they released a lot of their classic amps from the 50s and 60s. But the Amulet is a total new design. It's a tip of the hat to these classic tones, but it's been updated with some things that modern players like. This 15 watt 110 is a little bit like the Supro Comet, but here's where it's been expanded on. Number one, it's got an attenuator. And this is the first time Supro's ever done an attenuator. It brings it from full wattage of 15, and it's a loud enough 15 where you could play a club with it. Not with a super loud band, but you could, you could, you'd be fine. Um, you can break that down through the attenuator to five watts or to a mere one watt. And the tone does not change a whole lot. They're pretty consistent, although the volume is being slashed considerably. So that's a great feature. Next, the controls, the EQ initially, I think the Comet just had a tone control, but this has treble and bass. I like having a little more control over over your tone. Um, next you have the all tube reverb and the all tube tremolo. And nothing quite sounds like a tube tremolo and a tube reverb. I realize that in the digital age they have a lot of things that are close, but they've really got their own thing. So this is a class A combo amp, one 6L6 power tube, three 12AX7 preamp tubes, and one 12AT7 in there as well. And much like all kind of classic uh, low watt uh, tube amps, from one till noon, till halfway up, it, it gets louder and, and gets a little more compressed and kind of those ideas. But once you go beyond noon, it's not really getting louder, it's more getting just kind of dirty and you're getting more of that natural compression which is why people love small watt tube amps. The speaker is a British made Celestian cream back 10, and it's got that sort of uh, upper mid range kind of break up and honk that, that people love about Celestians. I dig the aesthetics of the amp. They went with the tip of the hat to the classic Bauco era. Um, the, you can see the emblem, the super emblem is raised out up front like that. The, uh, the hemp grill cloth has this gold thread uh, woven into it. The, uh, the black covering is kind of got that, I don't know, it looks like grandma's hi-fi. It's just a great classic look that you don't see very often. Now enough of me talking about tubes and aesthetics, let's just see what it sounds like. Right now I'm playing my, this is my, um, my 93 Strat. Uh, I'll play a Les Paul later on so you can hear what it sounds like. I do have an Karma Overdrive in front of the amp when we want to hear how it takes pedals. Other than that, it's running straight in, monkey with a 57. So here we go. <laughs> Try a little of that reverb, that lush. So it's hard to beat that, that tube-driven reverb, just so lush. Now, you think that's cool, wait to hear the tremolo. <laughs> What 
what a great effect. Of course, it goes super fast. <laughs> cowboy kind of thing or you can all the way down to a so that's the kind of effect that uh, is just so rich and almost impossible to duplicate so far, we've had it attenuated down to five watts, but let's bring it up to a beefy 15. You can hear how it takes that. So nice and clean. Even at halfway up, this guitar, there's really no breakup. And it's kind of got that, that kind of, just a little bit of natural compression. But as I bring it up, that's at a little past two o'clock. dime this pig just so you can see okay that's that's loud kind of punishing Chris behind the camera a bit it is pretty loud but let me drop it down now to five watts and you can hear it dimed there <laughs> So, I almost like it better at 5 watts. It seems like it feels like you get a little more compression, which I love. Drop it down to a mere 1 watt. That is not without its charm as well. Let's go ahead and try some humbuckers. I'll put on a Les Paul and you can see what that does. Okay, so here we are in humbucker land and I'm gonna keep it with the volume dimed and treble and bass at about three o'clock. And this is at one watt. <laughs> Now, let me take it up to a more beefy 15 watts, and you can hear it down a bit. So this is, I guess, probably at about, it's probably at about 10 o'clock. Just a great classic jazzy kind of tone. Now if we bring it up a bit, here we are just right above halfway.
If I were gigging with this, that's probably where I could keep it. That way it'd have enough, just clean enough to be clean with a little hint of overdrive and then you can take it from there. Now, if we run a pedal in front of it, here is a Karma Overdrive MTN10. It is without it. It takes pedals really well. That just, that just gives it enough of a bump over the top to make it very nasty. So that's the way I would play it, with a little bit of dirt in your clean channel and then a pedal in front of it to bump you into solo land. So the amulet comes in at $1,200. Good on you, Supro. This is an all too beautiful amp that has a lot of accoutrements for the modern player and yet a tip of the hat to classic old school style. Uh, to read the full written review, go to premierguitar.com. While you're online, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, along with all that social media stuff, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, TikTok, whatever you want. Maybe have the magazine sent to your house. This is John Bolger. Till next time, let's go ahead and dime this pig. <laughs>